yesterday. Former Illinois state senator and former Republican gubernatorial candidate Darren Bailey announcing that he is running for Congress in a seat that's currently held by Republican Mike Bost and uh, Bailey holding an event at his farm in Xenia, Illinois, yesterday. And uh, he had supporters there and uh, it was an Independence Day uh, event and uh, he made the announcement that he indeed is running for Congress. Here is uh, Senator Darren Bailey. Friends, our nation's at a crossroads. We find ourselves engulfed in a storm of woke nonsense. Woke nonsense that seeks to divide us. Woke nonsense that is eroding our values. It's undermining our principles, the very principles that make this country the shining beacon of freedom and opportunity. But I want to tell you something. I refuse to let this continue. I refuse to stand by while the radical left rips apart the very fabric of our society. Together, we must rise up and fight back against this assault on our freedoms. And the reason I'm here is because we must fight back and reject the weak need politicians who refuse to stand up and fight. It's time for leadership that fearlessly champions our values and fights tirelessly to protect working families. It's time to restore common sense to our governance. My fellow patriots, as I stand before you today, I am happy to announce my candidacy for United States Congress. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like the farmers and everyday people who stood tall during the American Revolution, we must rise up and fight for what is right. Our forefathers... That's why you're here. God bless you. Our forefathers understood the true meaning of independence. We all know that. They believed in the ordinary citizen's power to shape a nation's destiny. And I believe that with your help, we will write a better future for Southern Illinois and this entire nation. And I'm ready to stand along with Congresswoman Mary Miller in Washington to fix problems and fight for you. I have a message for Joe Biden, the radical left, and every weak-kneed politician who prioritizes their next election over the next generation. You may underestimate the power of the American people, but you do so at your own peril. We are a force to be reckoned with, and we will hold you accountable. If you sell us out, we will send you home. (laughs) Friends, I proudly stand before you today as a farmer, a father, a grandfather who is ready to fight for our future right here in Southern Illinois. Together, we will restore the American dream. We will reignite the flame of liberty and we will usher in a new era of prosperity that we've been waiting for for far too long right here in Southern Illinois and for this entire nation. So again, uh, uh, former state senator Darren Bailey, who lost his bid to be Illinois governor against uh, Governor J.B. Pritzker as an incumbent last year in the election, now looking to get into Congress. But he's got to get through a primary where uh, Republican Mike Bost is already in that seat, seeming to seek reelection. What is this going to do to the Republican Party? We talked with uh, Steve McClure uh, last week, I believe, and uh, he shared some concerns he has just in general terms of uh, certain individuals getting into uh, primaries to challenge There's Republicans. There's a few Republicans that are trying to create a circular firing squad where we spend all this money on primaries and then we get roasted in a general election with either a very poor candidate or a candidate that's been beat up unnecessarily by a Republican candidate who just wants to run to get attention for themselves. Dan McClure also saying that he hopes through all of this that uh, the Republican Party maintains unity. I really want us to be a United Republican Party. 
because that's the only way we're going to be able to, to make a difference in this state and, and start to um, cut into the Democrats' supermajorities. So uh, primary season apparently well underway now. Uh, March is the Illinois primary for both Republicans and Democrats vying for houses in the Illinois House, the Illinois Senate, the uh, U.S. Congress. Who wants to possibly get on the ballot to be uh, a a presidential nominee for Illinois? So all those things obviously going to be up to voters uh, in that uh, primary. And obviously it's going to be a lot more of uh, parts of our discussion moving forward in the uh, months ahead.